Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to start sharing some Halloween projects. It's about a month away now, so I'm actually doing a little party. I'm doing a Halloween roast dinner, so I want to have table feathers. And I thought I would do these very cute witches' cauldrons. It's kind of evolved from my orb. So if anybody's made the Christmas orb, you can see that similar kind of shape. It's that concept, but we don't do the top. Instead, we roll it to create that little trim around the top there now i've just popped a tonics tea cake in this bag just purely to show you you know and it just gave it a bit of weight for me to you know display it and show it on the video but um you can pop lots in here and you don't have to have this plastic you could just fill this you know to the brim you know with different colored sweets coming out i think it would look lovely i've got little handles on the side there a little sentiment it's got little feet it's a great little size and i can't wait to fill these with little personalized gifts and then I've just finished it there with a bow. I thought it looked really good as well because it looks like the bats, you know, are flying out of the cauldron. They've cooked up a potion and um, and now they're flying out. So it, I think this would look really nice as well for any um, children's parties. If there's any Halloween parties, birthday parties, I think these would look lovely at the table. They're pretty straightforward to make. Uh, you can do two from a sheet of 12 by 12. So try to make sure that you can get as much as you can out of your cardstock. So let me show you how to make it. So the stamp I've used for Happy Halloween is from a Sassy Crafting Trick or Treat set. It's a couple of years ago now, I think. I didn't really do much last year and all the year before for obvious reasons. So this is the gift bags. I picked these up from Chaplin's, which is a local store near me. But I'm sure, I mean, this brand here, Unique, I would have thought things like that. You're going to find in the pound shop, your dollar stores, all those kind of things. You get 20. They come with the little wire ties there got some ribbon and then all these bits here which i will go through with you so like i said two from a sheet of 12 by 12 or one from a sheet of a4 or your letter size so to make one cauldron you're going to need a piece of 10 and a half by six inch now if you don't want to roll as much as i roll you can reduce this down so it doesn't have to be six inches you could do i'd probably say don't go any lower than five but when we get to that you'll you'll be able to see what i mean so along the ten and a half inch side you want to score every one inch so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay nice and easy then pop it on the short side so you've got this half inch tab is at the bottom and you're going to score it one inch two inches and four inches okay next if you flip it over pop it back along the long side half inch tab is on your right hand side but you'll have all these squares along the top you now want to score at a quarter of an inch just down to the first score line in fact all the measurements i'm going to give you next are just down to this first score line so that was a quarter of an inch then it's three quarters of an inch so you'll see what i've just scored just within that one inch square so that's the quarter of an inch miss this half inch section and then three quarters of an inch and then that's that one inch that we done at the beginning you're going to do that in every single box so the next one is one and a quarter and then one and three quarters then two and a quarter and two and three quarters and so on. So three and th three and a quarter, three and three quarters, four and a quarter, four and three quarters, five and a quarter, five and three quarters, six and a quarter, six and three quarters, seven and a quarter, seven and three quarters, eight and a quarter, eight and three quarters nine and a quarter nine and three quarters okay so if i just hold that up you'll see they're all you'll have two score lines within every one inch square that runs right along the top there that's all the scoring now with the scoreboard okay next you want to fold and burnish all of your score lines Okay, so now we're going to be cutting all within these squares where we've added all those extra score lines. So you should have the half inch tab on your right hand side. What you want to do first of all is you're going to cut down and remove some of this half inch. You want to remove the past the first score line, cut up to the second one. 
you're removing these two pieces here and just snip that away like so and you're going to miss this section and then you're going to snip away this top one here so we've created a tab and we're going to add glue to this and attach it to the other end so if you just take a little wedge off of that so you've now got that tab now we're going to focus on all of these sections here so first of all you might find it easier if you cut up each of the one inch score lines so that was the one and then the two for example so miss all of these little score lines just focus on the one that goes you know right the way down but you're just cutting up past the first score line to the second so the same as what we've removed there but this time you're keeping them all attached this is all what forms the base of the cauldron so i'm just cutting past the first one and up to that second one okay I'm just trying to break it all down you might this next step you can do and not have to cut all of these it's just if i show you a few ways it's just a bit easier now if you fold all of these away from you so you know where you're working what you're going to do now is these score lines that you scored within that square they're just guides for you to now cut so you're going to cut up them but then you're going to cut across on an angle to the top of that one so again i'm going to cut up that one and now i'm going to cut across to that one so you're creating this shape and you want to do that on each one. But if you now fold that one away and bring the next one down, I think it's easier then to, you know, not get confused and not cut into any other ones. So again, I'm just cutting up that one. And then again to the corner. Like so. So now you've got the two and you're just going to repeat that on all of them. Okay, so now you should have something that looks like this. Okay, so you've got all of these pieces and just that tab. So next you want to flip it around and all you're going to do now is just cut down all of these to the first score line. These are going to be the pieces that you roll to make that lip around the top of the cauldron. So this is the end that I said that you don't have to have them this long. So if you'd rather not roll as much as I do, then you could definitely reduce this. Even if you just reduce it by half, you're still going to have the same size that I've got here. It's just all of this piece here is rolled up here, but it just made it nice and strong. So what I would do is flip it over. You'll, you'll have all these will be facing in, which is what you want. So flip it over because you want to curve these so they all face out the opposite way because that's the base that's going to go in these are going to roll out but if you just add that curve into them it's going to make it much easier for you when you go to roll them up now if you want to decorate all of these panels you can do easily i just want to keep mine all black i'm going to go for green black and orange for my table decorations this year so each of these is one inch wide so if you did want to add a pattern paper i'd do three quarters by one and three quarter and you'd want to cut 10 pieces to cover all of those so now we can start popping it all together so first of all i'm going to add some glue to the tab here and then just fold that over doesn't matter how many you fold over because it's an equal number of sides you can just fold over any amount there and just have the whole thing flat that way you know it's all lined up so just spend a minute making sure that's all secure what i also like to do is then fold it on the fold and then just burnish it as well okay so now you should have something like this flip it over it actually hold itself quite well now now you want to start sticking these together now the easiest way i found to do it is to start from just pick any one i mean if you want to start where the fold is or where the join is should i say so i can't even find where mine is there it is so i'm going to start here 
what I found the easiest way to do, in fact, I'm going to use my hot glue for this. You don't have to. It's just for me, it's just a bit quicker. Um, I have done it for actually nearly all of them now. But I'm just going to pop a tiny bead of hot glue in the top uh, right hand corner of that last piece. And then you want them to sit together. If you focus on just making sure you'll see you want you kind of have a little gap which is fine because you've cut obviously parts away but because we've got the cellophane and I figured you're not going to be putting anything loose in here nothing's ever going to go through those gaps but you'll see there that's what you want to create if you by just putting a little bit of glue so again now I'm working on this one I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue again that top right hand corner and then pop the next one on and just make sure again it's that same kind of gap you'll see now I've got those three together and I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around as long as you just got a little bit of hot glue each time it's actually you know quite quick I mean if you're going to make a lot of these which I imagine some people will then um I think using the hot glue is just going to really save you a lot of time. If you are new to my channel, I've actually got quite a lot of Halloween tutorials on the, the channel. And last time I made some adorable little Terry's chocolate orange holders. I've made little pumpkin gift bags. There's a lot on there. So I'll share some of the playlists now. But you can see there already we've got that half and you've got a really nice shape so just give yourself that little gap don't butt them right up because we've cut away from this we've removed the score line which is pretty much the size of that gap that i've left there so i'm just going to continue that on the other half okay so they're all stuck down then i've just punched myself two circles this one is one and a half inches diameter and then I'm just going to pop some glue around. I mean this is optional, you can see it's pretty neat anyway, but I'm just going to cover that and then I can also, if you want to, just to tidy it all up, cover the inside as well. Just drop that down in the middle. And you'll see it will hold itself pretty well, but you should have something now that looks like that. Then we can start rolling all of these side pieces. So I've just got myself, this is one of my nail stylus is, <laughs> you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is just start rolling it around until it starts to go under the cardstock and then keep going all the way down. And then I just popped a little bit of glue on the score line, tiny, tiny, tiny amount, and then just roll it over that score line. And just remove that and you'll see you start to get that look there so I'll show you one more and then I'll just speed it up so again just gonna go all the way down and then pop a little bit of glue just on that score line you could remove this now as well it's not gonna you know it won't matter and you'll see you got your second one Okay, so it's as easy as that. So I'm going to keep going around now and get the rest of those finished. Okay, so they're all rolled and stuck down. Now you could keep it like this. You don't have to, you know, add the feet, but I have got them here. Now these are strips of one by one and a half, and I just rolled the one and a half length to give me the same as these pieces. That's why I've done it that size so it just kind of all you know matches and then I'm just going to add some more glue around the edge there so decide what one you want to be the front and you want to stick it on the bottom piece near that score line like just you know up from the circle there that I've got like so and then again and you're going to skip two sections and then put the next one 
Make sure the fold is away from you. That way they won't see it. Again, just pushing that down. The glue dries clear. You don't really see anything like that when it's obviously upright. But now you've got your two feet there. You can see it's starting to stand. And again, on the back, you're then going to miss one. So you just miss one and then you stick the foot. And again, I'm keeping the, the fold away from me so that when they look at it, all they see is the, the nice side, not the join. And again, you're just going to miss one and then pop that down. OK, and then you'll have your two in between those at the back there. But now it stands up. It's so cute. So then we can just decorate. So I've got my, where did I put my bits and pieces here? So these little rings I've made just by die cutting a one inch circle. And then I die cut a smaller circle in the middle of that to give me that ring. Then these pieces here are just over one eighth of an inch, about three eighths of an inch by one. And again, I'm just going to just curl those. You'll need two for each cauldron. Again, optional, you might not want to add these. You could do gold ones, you could do colourful ones, it's entirely up to you. You're just going to fold them over like so. And then while I've got my hot glue out, I'm just going to use that. Just pop a little bit in there and just close that up. And then if I've got any glue that's come out, I can just trim that like that. I'm just going to do the same with this one. And then these are going to stick on the one between the legs, just towards the top there. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue behind there. And then stick that one there. And then again on the opposite side, in between those two feet. like so and then my sentiment i'm just putting a blob of glue and then i always just like to let that cool just for a few seconds and by doing that it gives you that dimension still so now i can just stick this on the fold so on that score line in the middle here as so you'll see it sticks out but it just keeps it a bit lifted as well so i'm just going to take one of my little bags here i'll just pop I've got my little washi roll there just so it's got a bit of weight just so you can see so fill it up with all your gifts but already you can see I mean you don't have to tie it with ribbon you could thread the ribbon through here you could tie it around underneath this piece you know that really does look like it's all the steam and the smoke coming off the um the top there but I've just got my two colors here and I'm just gonna tie that off into a boat So I've still got some more to make, but I thought I'd just show you how they look rather than just that one on its own. They look really cute when they're all grouped together. So um, I hope you've enjoyed the first of my Halloween series. If you're new to the channel, like I said, just check out the Halloween playlist that I've got. because There's heaps of inspiration over there as well. And um, look out for the tutorials for future ones that I've got to share. I'll link them up here as well. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future tutorials. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.